Hey guys, I wanted to show you guys on Adobe Premiere how to import your video clips into your timeline. So it's ordered by creation date, by uh, sequentially by the time that you shot your clips. So the uh, annoying thing that I found was like if I selected my videos here that I shot on my iPhone. So uh, look at the naming is two four two 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 four two three two four two four. Those are uh, sequentially um a shot that means this was shot before this before and then this before this and so um i wanted to import uh those clips by the timeline that means uh you know from the oldest to the latest right here and uh what i figure out is that i find that if you select them all then you drag them to the timeline on adobe premiere it's gonna uh as you can see it's gonna have mixed up uh, the clips so it doesn't respect the time uh, the timeline that means uh, the oldest uh, clips is first even though in uh, in a folder in a explorer right here as you can see this is first right but when you import it you can you're gonna see two four three two first and then two four three three next uh, which is you know two four three three is right here which is in the middle of the clip and I don't want that because you know uh, when you start you want to have a sequence uh, you know from the old to the new and what I do is that uh, to fix that let me let me show you two four so look at that two four three one is right here and then two four two five and then two four two three is right here two four two three is supposed to be like the second clip if I wanted to import so it doesn't follow the sequence here in the timeline and that's annoying and one way to fix that is uh, you know control A and delete all once you import that you're gonna, you're gonna show on the left side uh, all the clips uh, that were imported earlier and what you do is you uh, right click on the name you to meta display and uh, you go to basics right here and creation date so creation date will show the attributes field for those files that um, the clips that are uh, you know the time and date uh, that they were shot so for example you have if I uncheck this uh, it won't show the creation date and that was that as the default and what I what I do is you right click meta display then you do creation date okay uh, it will show the attribute uh, the fill attribute for the creation date and just scroll to the right you can see it's uh, right here creation date you, what you can do you can drag it uh, you know to wherever you want but if you click on the header of the creation date it will sort the file by uh, the creation date that means the date that you shot the clips and uh, when you, cl uh, you click once it's gonna sort by descending order of uh, the time that it was shot click another time it will um, it will sort the files by ascending order so what I want is you know I want ascend ascending order because uh, you know when I shoot uh, you know you want to have a s the the oldest then the next the next you want a sequence uh, to follow the timeline otherwise uh, it will be uh, mixed up unless you're doing something like editing or shooting uh, another clip afterwards uh, to fulfill a gap uh, in your in your video but uh, if you follow the sequence like I did that means you want a creation date by ascending, ascending order and to follow the naming right here what you do is uh, you click so it's uh, by ascending order and then you click on this file select on this file and then right click uh, and then shift actually sorry not right click and then scroll down and then click the end of the list of the files right that's really important to do that and not like control a and select all and then you drag it to the timeline and as you can see it followed the naming 2422 is first 2423 is next like this so it's following uh, this um, order of the file creation date and 2424, 2425, 2426, 2427, 
2429, there's no 2428 as you can see, 2427, 2429. Then uh, the last one would be, you know, 2473, and that's what we wanted. And so that's one way of um, of uh, making sure that the when you import the clips, they are sorted by the creation date uh, in your timeline. And if you shot something that, you know, to fill a gap, you know later and to fill a gap in the beginning right here then you have to move the clip to you know to wherever you want it to appear in the video but that's one way to fix this uh, and I find it useful for uh, my editing because when I do uh, import my clips I want them to appear in a sequential order by the creation date and so uh, I hope you guys find this tip useful and please give click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos and tips and see you guys on the next video. Thank you. Bye.